Okay, so in my recent uh, Cadex Nebula Pro video, I superviewed some of the 4.3 video, and I got some questions about how that's done. And this is something that I've actually been doing for quite a while now, actually more than a year. And I just really haven't had time to make a video, but I think it's time to make a video about this. And also because I'm going to be using it for um, uh, superviewing the footage from the new uh, SMO 4K camera, the one I just reviewed a few days ago from Insta360 and Beta FPV. Now this is, um, this procedure is based off of the, it's called the Neek Superview script. Uh, there's actually pretty, it's actually pretty, um, uh, evolved now. That's like a point version, uh, 0.9 now. And I've been using it since it first came out at 0.1. Actually, I was using the prior whatever it was called, uh, some Python script made, uh, made by Benel, I think. I think this is what this was based on. Now, uh, just to acknowledge, I am not the first person to release a video on this process, this Neek Super Review script. Uh, R.C. Shim did put out a video, I think sometime last year, I believe, and I just haven't bothered to make one. But uh, there's now a new sort of GUI, like a graphical user interface for this that you can... Uh, kind of put together and make this really simple and easy. So this is going to be kind of a quick, okay, how do you get this going as quick and easy as possible um, without a lot of hassle? So uh, you're more than welcome to go to the old method that RCHM put together. I'll link his video down in the description if you want to check it out. But it's um, basically with the new, newer versions, I think 0.8 and 0.9, it's basically outdated. So I would recommend this. And so basically just go to Google, type in, N I R N I N I E K Super View. And then the base of the first thing will come up is this GitHub link. You're going to go there. And there's a bunch of stuff you need to start downloading. You can read all this if you want. I'm not going to explain all this stuff here. Basically, if you don't know what Super View is, it basically takes a 4.3 video and it stretches out the, the basically the left and right sides of the video so that it converts it from a 4.3 format to a 16.9 format while, while ret retaining the um, aspect ratio of the center part of the image. So it's not a, it's basically a non-linear stretch of the video, but you can read all this if you want to get into that. But basically the thing we're interested in here is the GUI, um, the GUI program. So first thing you want to do is go to the uh, releases page on GitHub. So I'm going to open up uh, that page here and uh, there's two versions. There's the CLI version, which is the old way of doing it, which you can still do, of course, if you want to read the directions, but I'm going to be doing the new version way with the GUI. So I'm going to download this file first. Um, obviously, I think there's like uh, Linux versions and there's Windows versions for the older Windows, like the 386. If you have like less than four gigabytes of RAM, I think most people are probably going to have the 64-bit um, Windows. So you're going to want the AMD 64. This is what I'm going to be getting. So go ahead and download that first. Okay, so back on to the main GitHub page. You do want to get some other files here, and just a section called Requirements. Uh, under Windows, you're going to want the FFmpeg, uh, basically some sort of uh, processing EXE files. There's ones for Linux and Mac. I don't have those operating systems, so I can't demo that for this video, but yeah, just go to this link here. This is the next thing we want to download, and these files here are going to be zipped in a 7-zip format. So you're going to need to go here and uh, download this 7-zip utility. So we're going to do that first. And we're going to download that here. So there's 7-zip uh, 19, so this is version uh, 2019, uh, February 21st, I think. That'll be fine. I think these over here are like beta or alpha versions down here. So I'm just going to get the 64-bit uh, uh, non-alpha version here. This is the one from 2019. Go ahead and download that file. And go back here and then uh, we want to get the the FFmpeg git full, which is this one right here. And we actually don't need all the files, but there's only two of them we need. I'll show you which ones to pull out of there. Okay, so then we'll go to our downloads and we can see we have our 7-zip installer, we have the FFmpeg file, and then the SuperView GUI file here. So we're going to install the 7-zip uh, application first. We're going to need that. And then we'll go ahead and we're going to open up this um, compressed 
uh, basically a zip file here basically has the executable for the main GUI that's going to convert your super view or convert your video to super view. And I'm going to create a folder here on the desktop. You can put this wherever you want. This is the way I do it. Um, kind of, you know, it just really depends on what you want to do. But I'm going to make a folder called super view here on my desktop. Open that up. And I'm going to drag the exe file that's in the zip file over to this folder called super view that I just made. So that's the first step. And the second step here is we want to open up this ffmpeg file that we downloaded. So we'll right click on that. And there's a menu that's going to show up says 7-zip. And we're going to want to open up that archive. And in here, uh, we want to go into the bin folder. And the only two files that we need are the ffmpeg exe file and the ffprobe file or ffprobe exe file. So we're going to take those, select those and drag and drop them into the super view folder. And they should extract into here. So now we have these three files in here. And we can go ahead and close up the the rest of the stuff here. Now, in order for this to run, uh, well, I'm going to run the program, but you're going to need, obviously you're going to need a, a video file to work on. So I'm going to grab a video file here that I um, downloaded previously and move that over here. It's called 4.3 sample. I'll just uh, open it up here and play it for you. This is actually from a, this is actually from the Cadix Nebula Pro that's recorded from the uh, DJI FUV goggle, which records in a 4.3 format. So again, this will work on any kind of 4.3 video from uh, this sort of 720p style video all the way up to uh, uh, 4,000 by 3,000. I think this is optimized for 1440p style video, but this is uh, what we're going to use here for this demo. And we'll go ahead and launch the SuperView GUI program. And uh, you might get this warning here. So let's hit run anyway. And then the reason I put the video files in the same folder here is I think um, this is the easiest way to do it. And plus, uh, I haven't gotten run into any errors. Like if I did it some other way, like if I tried to install in like the, the program uh, program files folder, sometimes I get error messages or I can't process the video. So I put the video in the same folder here, and this seems to work every time. So then um, go over here and we'll say open input video file, and we'll go to our desktop, and go to the super video folder here, and then 4.3 sample video, open that up. And then all you do is hit encode video, and then it'll ask for a place to save it, and I'm going to go ahead and put it back into the same folder here, and I'm going to call it uh, sv.mp4. And let's save, and then it's going to start encoding the, the video file into the SuperView format. Okay, so now the uh, encoding's finished, and I should have a file here now in the same folder uh, called sv.mp4. So we'll go ahead and let's open that up. And you can see here that it is been super viewed, so it's a 16.9 format, and you can see in the center here it's basically the same, but then it's been stretched out here on the left and right side as basically, you know, emulating what the GoPro does in its uh, super view format. So hopefully this uh, video was helpful in getting you guys the information on how to download all the, all the files and run it and basically convert the files yourself. It's pretty easy to do, and now that they have, there's this GUI out. Um, just follow this method, just get the files that you need here as, as I've shown, and you should be able to convert your files just like I did it here in this video. So I will have um, other videos on how to convert other things uh, like from the snow camera in the future, uh, but I'm going to refer back to this video for that because that's basically this, uh, this is the basis for uh, super viewing any other type of video. Anyway, anyway, hope you found the video helpful and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.